I look at things and wonder if they could be made better and start thinking about how they are made. I mean, that's what interests me. I'm passionate about developing new technology and using engineering to solve problems and using engineering to make a really interesting product. I have 35 years experience of making things and it's taught me a lot. If you had a better product which had demonstrably better performance and everybody could see what the point of difference was, then people might buy the product. It's no good just being a designer, you've got to make a product that works better. The current way of doing it is clearly wrong. There must be a better way. We want to spin the dust off. We want to get rid of it. 5,127 prototypes before I got it right. The Dyson relentless invention not only defines us, it separates us from all others. This world is driven by technology and we have no choice but to focus on creating more advanced products. We don't really talk about sales targets. I'm much more interested in making products that people want. So I want people who feel as though they're pioneering and want to do something in a different and better way. The problem with trying to develop new technology and trying to do something in a very different way is that, of course, it never works the first time or the second time or the third time. But failure is the wonderful starting point because when something fails, you've then got to think and experiment to overcome that failure. We always realize that there must be something better around the corner, but then suddenly one day in a hundred, you break through and you make a success of it. And, you know, provide something which does something that was never done before. And that's what's incredibly exciting.